Ron, welcome to Aussie. It's great to be here. Always a weird thing to say to an investor, but, but welcome indeed. Ron, so a ton of people have done well when they've come to pitch you, famously Mark Zuckerberg and, and Larry and Sergey and a bunch of other people, but not everyone does well. What are the biggest ways that someone can screw up a pitch? Not accurately describing your company, the elevator pitch is everything. You've got to be able to describe your company, and that's why it's called an elevator pitch, in a minute or less. And very, very succinctly, and using comparisons to other companies and products so that, so that the investor can visualize this product and where it fits in the market. And if you can't do that in a minute, you're gonna to start to lose, uh, lose the person you're talking to and, and you'll probably never regain them. How else have you seen people go awry? So even the people who do that part right, how else have they messed up a pitch in your experience? If you have the founder and the co-founder you know, uh, interrupting each other, that's a bad dynamic. We watch for that as well. Um, and just not answering questions to the point, uh, rambling too much. Uh, you want to be very, very succinct and precise with all of your answers. Has someone ever won the pitch with you so that they came in, they walked out of there and you thought, I'm going to put money in, and then you changed your mind? And if so, why? Well, in some cases, you know, we do lots of backdoor references. So after we meet an entrepreneur, we have a huge Rolodex. We we can go check that entrepreneur out. And if an entrepreneur has reputational issues, uh, that's of real concern to us. So even though we like the idea, if the reputation of the founder is not stellar, we will probably change our mind and not invest. Ron, so over the last 20 years, you probably have heard 5,000, maybe 6,000 pitches. Who's given you the best single pitch ever? Well, pr probably one of the best pitches ever came from Airbnb. Be because they had to be convincing because the idea was so unique and, and out of the box that we're going to allow people to rent rooms in their homes. Now, in 2008, there was a market crash in New York City, and this allowed, the reason Airbnb is here, I think, is they picked the right time, the right place. People in New York were able to augment their income. Interesting. They're actually beneficiaries of the recession in a, yes. in a weird way. Yes. Yes. Without the 2008 recession in New York, where Airbnb was focusing their marketing, um, they would not have grown as fast. Their brand name would not have grown. Uh, and they helped a lot of families in New York.